In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use Google Sheets to determine our relevant information. If you need the explanation behind what we're doing, I have a video that goes into more detail. This one's going to be a quick one. Okay, so the data here is our minute studied versus our score. And we want to be able to use this data to determine or to predict what score we would get given a minutes we studied and what how many minutes we need to study to get a certain score. We also want to know how strongly correlated the data is. So we're going to ignore column B because saying, you know, the number of tests has no mathematical significance, just a way of labeling it. So we have our minutes studied and our score. We're going to first put this on a scatter plot. So we're going to highlight the relevant information, including the title. It does help to have that here because it'll automatically label it for you. We're going to go over to chart. And the default is line chart. I actually want scatter. And this will show you your, your four data points. 0, 70, 15, 75, 30, 83, and 45, 88. But this doesn't really help me predict future outcomes. For that, we need to have a trend line and the equation, the linear equation. So over here on our chart editor, and if you happen to close out of it, you can just double click. You're going to go to customize series and you're going to scroll down to trend line and where it says label you're going to use equation okay and here's your equation y equals 0.413 x plus 69.7 meaning that if you don't study you get it 69.7 which is kind of close to that and then for every minute you study you get a increase of 0.413 to do uh to get the r squared value you can just check over here, and that will give you your R squared value. And to get the R, it's unfortunately not as easy. We have to do a formula. So we're going to just go in a random blank cell, and you're going to type in to get the R. You know, R is the linear correlation coefficient. Blank cell equals C-O-R-R-E-L, corel for correlation. So you're going to click on it. And then you're going to do the data, not the title, just the data of your first column, then a comma, then the data of your second column, and then close parenthesis, boom. So we have a R value of 0.995, which is a very strong correlation. If you wanted to get R squared manually, you could just do this cell equals the R value cell to the second power. And you can see that this value and that value are the same once you account for rounding. And that's it.